I'm deeply honored and delighted that my long-standing research has been recognized. Well, contrary to the, uh... My dream is to use capture air and separate air to, for instance, in the CO2 or oxygen or water or something, and convert this to the useful material using the uh, renewable energy. The uh, current um, ways of capturing carbon dioxide it binds really, really tight. And, and inside of that room, uh, the chemists were very good in synthesizing organic molecules with certain properties, but they were in one or zero dimension basically. They were on their own. So what the laureates uh, could do, they could put them into frameworks. It's like, you know, you can compare it with uh, beams uh, and, and posts in a framework in, in a house. So, you know, if you don't know how to put together beams and posts, you will not make a house, you will not make a, a, a rooms. So they actually created, out of those organic uh, molecules, they created uh, houses with hallways and rooms, and those hallways and rooms can be used for filling them with uh, gases or uh, volatile molecules and separate them and, and concentrate them. So it's a it's, um, totally new area of chemistry. Into an ordered framework, a metal organic framework. A few grams of such material can hold enormous amount of area, like several football pitches. So this is kind of counterintuitive, right? I mean, how can you put a lot of space into such a small uh, volume? But this is how this works with these pores. It's a lot of development now trying to create metal organic frameworks to capture carbon dioxide from the air, so to reduce uh, uh, the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air and, and, and uh, mitigate the climate uh, problems. And uh, another cool uh, application is to capture water in desert. Basically, it's very dry air in the desert and uh, it's difficult to get water, but with this material you can do that. You can uh, capture water at night and then when the sun comes out and the temperature rises, the water comes out. So you can produce water basically out of thin air.